So let's talk about serif fonts in glyphs. And if you're anything like me, you've probably shied away from making your own serif fonts because you thought it was too difficult and a little bit of a faff. But having finished one recently, it's not that bad. It's actually fairly simple. So in Glyphs 3, you've got um, an option to use components and in particular, corner components. So what this does is it allows you to make a, a serif shape and attach that to a corner node and essentially making a serif typeface. You're going to make one piece that's then used throughout the entire typeface or at least the majority of it. So that's what I want to show you today and uh, let's crack on. Right, here we are in glyphs and first of all, we need to make a new glyph. We're gonna call this one underscore corner dot left. So that just indicates that it's the left corner component. So we'll open this one with the M and in here, we're gonna do the left hand serif so we want it to be of a similar size to this so it, it looks like it's uh, part of the same piece and we'll probably take it down to about there so now we need to add two anchors the first one is left the second one is origin the origin goes on the base line and I like to line it up with the first node or the top node. And on the top node, I'll just pop the left anchor point on there as well. So that's our serif. Let's go and test it over here by clicking, right clicking on the node. And now you should see this um, add corner component um, turn up. It wouldn't have been there before without having the corner components. And you can see corner left. Drop that on there. And there you've got your first um, serif. So with this one selected, just press Command and D and duplicate that. That gives us another one. We're going to change this to right for our right serif. We'll change this one, double click that anchor point, change this to right as well. You don't need to change the origin, but we will flip this and line it back up again. So what we've got here is um, a winding problem. So this um, direction is going in the wrong direction. And what you'll see is if we put it onto here, it'll be all wrong. That's purely because this is going in the wrong direction. So make sure to check the direction that your path is going and if it needs to reverse the direction. So now you can see that it fits right. So if we add our left on here and right onto this one, Again, this one will be the left because it's upside down. And this one will be the right, once again, because it's upside down. And there you go, you've got a basic M. Right, let's drop in the E. I'm just gonna change the side bearings on the M, just so we've got some space. All the right sections I'm gonna do right and left. The nice thing about this is that you can add or you can reuse components for bigger parts as well. So technically this should, well I suppose not necessarily technically but generally what you'd see is these are a little bit bigger than the rest of the the serifs just for balance. So if you select the node, select the, um, the component, and then just scale these up. It gives you a little bit more from 
those shapes. You can make them deeper as well. You can add corner components onto the center as well, just to make that shape. Sometimes I'll make separate shapes for these just to make them even more refined. Um, but just to sort of show you how this works. And there you go, you got the beginnings of a serif font. And you can see how quick that is. So the, the idea with this is that we can then change the shape and it changes throughout the entire font. So you can make it into a pure slab or a fairly thick wedge or if you wanted to you could bring this further down and make it a really refined serif as well. So that's how to add serifs using um, corner components in Glyphs 3. It's really nice and simple and it helps to keep that consistency running throughout your font. I hope that you found this helpful. If you wanna leave any links or comments in the comment section below, by all means, feel free to do so. And um, I suppose all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.